What happens in that in that period of time where you also become part of, I think for a certain part of the audience, part of the kind of teen angst phase where Zero or a few other songs are not seen as ironic and they're actually seen as, as emotional. Well, you got to understand, but we were, we were heavy metal fans. So we grew up listening to, to Ronnie James Dio sing about Man on the Silver Mountain. You know what I mean? So is Ronnie James Dio really singing about a man on the Silver Mountain? Is it? It's like, was you understand this thing? Heavy metal in and of itself is 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 a contrivance, like a horror movie, like Slayer. Like I'm gonna so take you into a vibe, but you know, is 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 Tom Araya really singing about cutting people into pieces? No, and he's often been asked, like, you know, about references to horrible things, and he's saying it's like a horror movie. It's like I'm taking you into experience, and it's a cathartic way of sort of dealing with these demons or these shadows, but you know, I'm not a serial killer, you know what I mean? So it's a similar type of thing. You go into a feeling to kind of unlock the energy of that. And for whatever reason, we tapped into that teenage angst, but it wasn't like but by design, I and mean, we had teenage angst. We grew up in the suburbs. My downtown, literally where I grew up, was like Burger King on one corner, McDonald's on the other, you know, shitty steakhouse on the other corner, and a Walgreens, you know what I mean? It's like. That was my downtown. I didn't have like the It's a Wonderful Life Main Street with the cop on the corner saying, have a good day, Mr. Corgan. You know what I mean? And, and many people who grew up in the suburban wasteland of America and, and are still living there know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, there's, it's, like, it's like a land of no culture. So culture for many kids like we were was heavy metal, Dio singing about man on the silver mountain, sort of like, is it real mysticism or is it a faux mysticism or James Hetfield singing about the war dead or something, you know? We could relate because it's sort of a fractured experience. It's not as linear. And then it's only later when it succeeds that people come along and try to put an intellectual construct on the back of it. Right. It's like I, I recently was on uh, Lars Ulrich's show and it's like Metallica unleashed and I was there in 84 or whatever, they unleashed this set of emotions in the suburban underground of this sort of angst of like, where are we going? Like, what is, what is, what is the suburban dream that all our parents were promised? It was empty. I wonder if that's so you tap into exists. that. You know what I'm saying? It's more of yeah. a nihilist kind of opinion than anything sort of intellectual or erudite. Yeah, I wonder, uh, not to go on too much of a tangent, but I, I, love I, it. I wonder if a genre like that exists right now or if that's still happening. If there is what a, a suburb, if there is a version of groups who are tapping into that nihilism. I think, I, I, unfortunately, uh, Little Peep, I think Little Peep, probably of all the artists that I'd heard recently, tapped into that same angst, and it's so sad he passed away because he was just getting to the bigger part of his work, you know? He, somehow, when I heard Little Peep, I was like, that's exactly that same vibe. It's like, I'm at the 7-Eleven. I have all these deep feelings and thoughts, and what do I, like, the 7-Eleven is the epicenter of my universe. It's like, for a lot of people, that is their life. And he was kind of shocking in a way that could cut through, I think. As, well, and, as well. And, and, and here we are in New York, and, uh, you know, I've been critical of the town, and I've lived here. You know, uh, you know, like people call coastal elites. A lot of people live in these ivory towers in New York and L.A., and they look down on the rest of the country, and they say, oh, you know, you should believe in this, and you should, and that's how not most people, most people are like, how do I get out of the trailer park? They don't have time to debate the meaning of a word, you know what I mean, or a symbol. They just don't have brain space for it. They just want to get out. Like getting out, it's like the survival instinct. And rap, in many ways, I think has captured that. They, they stole, a lot of the rap artists stole the mantle of that sort of angst, like get me the fuck out of here, you know. Yeah. 